Right when you think you've reached the limit, more brave women continue to come forward. Yeah, Lauren Holly now claiming she too was preyed upon by Harvey Weinstein. She was in her 30s. She was already established in Hollywood, having made the movie Beautiful Girls with him. When he came toward me, everything changed. The adrenaline rush I felt, I wanted to flee. I was scared. Lauren, like so many others, recounts the sickening encounter in Weinstein's hotel room where she thought the movie mobile was going to offer her projects. Instead, she sat on the Canadian TV show The Social, what started out as a seemingly professional meeting, went horribly wrong. Take a listen. He came back to the room and he was dressed in the hotel bathrobe. He dropped his robe, went into the bathroom in front of me and began to use the toilet. Now, at this point, my head's exploding. He turns on the shower, he gets in the shower, he's continually talking to me. He got out of the shower, he dried himself, did not put on the robe, and came toward me. The MO sounds just all too familiar. He said that he thought maybe I could use a massage, maybe I could give him a massage. He told me that I would make a bad decision if I got out of there. I pushed him and ran. Well, with every day more brave women come forward. Yeah, and the hashtag Me Too social media movement also gave America Ferreira the courage to speak out about her own heartbreaking experience with sexual assault. She was just nine years old. Can you imagine? And she's admitted now that she lived with that guilt and shame that thought she was the one to blame. She writes, I had to see this man on a daily basis for years to come. He would smile at me and wave, and I would hurry past him, my blood running cold, my guts carrying the burden of what only he and I knew that he expected me to shut my mouth and smile back. Ladies, let's break the silence to this next generation of girls so they won't have to live with this BS. Perhaps no one feels more vindicated in all of this than Rose McGowan, who basically suffered in silence until the explosive New York Times article. Rose posted this photo from the movie Phantoms, writing, this is the movie I was filming when it happened. I played 16 years old, and to clarify, she was 25 at the time, but she was playing the role of a 16-year-old. She also posted an eerily silent video of herself in an empty, sun-washed room, processing emotions, as she called it. Oh, I hope Rose feels the love and unity coming her Absolutely. way. Absolutely.